Hi, this is Brian from Wobbleworks here to talk about eclipses in our astronomy app Luminos. Now, because Luminos is an all-in-one astronomy simulation, we've included support for the full 5 millennium catalog of solar and lunar eclipses from NASA for many versions. But with the Great American Total Solar Eclipse of 2017 coming up, now is a really good time for a refresher in how you can use Luminos to explore an eclipse. The quickest way to find upcoming eclipses in the Luminos app is by using the What's Up view under this Tonight button. The Tonight list shows you all the things happening in the sky wherever you're located right now, and that includes upcoming meteor showers, moon phases, and whichever objects are going to be in the sky tonight. The Tonight view shows you the current day, but you can also look ahead or even back in time by tapping up top and choosing another day in the calendar. So. You can also swipe left and right if you want to see other months in your current month. If we skip a few days ahead, you'll see a lot of the things in the list will change. So I've gone ahead and jumped ahead to the evening of Friday, August 18th, and now you can see that the sky view went dark to show that it's the evening. You will also see that Luminos now shows the total solar eclipse coming up in a few days, and it lists when that eclipse will be at its maximum at your location. So let's tap that. The sky view will select the sun, and it will show a whole bunch of details about the eclipse over here in the browser. And if you, if you want even more scientific detail, you can select this advanced tab to see things like the Julian date of the eclipse. But if you really want to see all the catalog data from NASA for this eclipse, you can tap into this item here to bring that up. So this catalog view lets you see things like the Saros number. Um, so the Saros number, uh, the Sun, the Moon, and the Earth, they line up in approximately the same relation to each other every 18 years and 11 days or so. And so at that time, a nearly identical eclipse will happen that happened 18 years and 11 days before that. So all of these eclipses that happen in those intervals are said to have, share the same Saros number. And this August 21st eclipse is part of uh, Saros number 145, which means that a similar eclipse to this next one will happen in September 2nd, 2035. Well, back to the eclipse itself, you can tap on this map to get an interactive display. You can see we can pan around this page and pinch zoom in and out for a better view. And this slider along the bottom controls the time from start to finish. So you can see the time listed in your local time zone and GMT up here in the corner. And you can also see the relative positions of the sun and moon over time, like where they are over Earth down here on the map. So let's zoom in a little more. When you do, you can see the precise path of the eclipse uh, but you also see these yellow lines on either side which form a path and the area between these two yellow lines shows you where on the globe you will actually experience a total eclipse so if you happen to be outside of these path lines you'll only get a partial eclipse depending on how far away you are you can also see how long the eclipse will last at uh, any point on the map the path shows that the eclipse will start around 10:15 a.m here on the coast of oregon and over the course of about an hour and a half, it'll make its way east across the US. And these little yellow dots here show roughly 15 minutes apart in the course of the eclipse. You might also notice that on the west coast, the eclipse will only last just under two minutes. But if you move over here to the peak in Kentucky, the maximum eclipse, it'll last more than two and a half minutes. So location really does matter. So let's close that map up and check out some more fun things here. So if you scroll down, you'll see some more buttons. Uh, many of these are also located on the toolbar on the Eclipse for the selection in the screen. And the most important one is set time to the maximum. So if we tap that, Luminos will jump ahead to the moment where the Eclipse is greatest at your present location. And if you tap zoom in, uh, we can see that where I'm here in San Jose, we're only going to get a partial eclipse. Now, I'm going to be fortunate enough to have a better view of the eclipse on the actual day, but we can simulate what it would look like wherever you happen to be located right here in the app. 
The best way to do that is to tap this time button to bring up the time controls and then you can use this handy little wheel on the right side of the screen to roll time backwards and forwards to see the positions of the moon and the sun, what they'll be like for you. Now everything in Luminos will update in real time so uh, if you want to get back to the maximum time you can just tap that button again. And how about this fly to the best location button? Well, we saw earlier that the eclipse is going to be at its maximum in Kentucky. So if we tap this button, Luminos will fly over to Kentucky and then it will pull down the local terrain. And here's, here's the really neat part. If you tap that set time to maximum button again to set the maximum eclipse time for Kentucky, you'll notice that the sky goes dark. And that's because Luminos actually models how the sunlight would look on Earth based on the position of the sun, and in this case, the moon. So that's pretty cool. Now, if we zoom in on the eclipse, we can see just how total it will be here in Kentucky. And we can play with the time wheel again for good measure. So one important thing to note here, Luminos lets you fly all over the solar system because it's a simulator and it shows times in your device's time zone. So I still see Pacific Daylight Time here, even though I've flown over to Kentucky. Now you, you can also see different time standards like UTC if you open up the, the time picker a little more, but you should just make note that if you're traveling to another location and you wanna see all the times in a different time zone, make sure you've changed to that time zone on your device to let Luminos reflect that. So that's the Great American Eclipse of 2017 in the Luminos app, but just FYI, the app does include simulations for 5,000 years of solar and lunar eclipses, and here's how you can find all of those. If you browse into the solar system, and then either the sun or moon or earth, you'll see a whole giant catalog of eclipses that you can simulate. For example, you can check out the total solar eclipse coming up in 2024 that's also going to pass through parts of the United States. I hope you get a chance to enjoy the total eclipse on August 21st, or at least simulating it in Luminos. Be safe, don't look at the sun without proper eye protection, but get out there and start exploring.